So the White House is doing that thing again. That thing where they expose these hypocritical, lying-ass Republicans. Last night, Ted Cruz tweeted this. Morning from Texas and, and also Senator Kevin Kramer from, from North Dakota and began working to build the coalition of both Republicans and Democrats it would take to move this forward in the Senate. Earlier this year, when we had the infrastructure bill before the Senate, I had two major amendments I took the lead on, both focused on West Texas. One was the Cruz-Warnock Amendment. That was for I-14, which runs from the Permian Basin all the way out to the Atlantic Ocean. And, and that amendment, we got bipartisan support. It passed overwhelmingly. It passed unanimously, passed into law, helping bring oil and gas and crops all the, all the way east to the Atlantic Ocean. The second, the Ports to Plains, which, which will run from Laredo all the way north through Lubbock, all the way up into North Dakota and even Canada above that. Uh, we likewise got uh, bipartisan support for it. The amendment was the Cruz-Lujan Amendment, Lujan being the, the Democrat senator from New Mexico. And we had agreement to move forward on that until at the last minute on the infrastructure bill, there was an unrelated dispute between Bernie Sanders, a Democrat, and Richard Shelby, a Republican. That unrelated dispute stopped all of the amendments. But the good news, Ryan, is the agreement that we had built on Cruz Lujan, the fact that we had gotten both sides to sign off, that we brought on Democrats and Republicans, enabled us to get, get it passed in a subsequent bill shortly thereafter. The long and short of it is we did the hard work to bring together Democrats and Republicans, and we're, we now have designated I-27, the ports to Plains, to run from Laredo all the way north through Lubbock, all the way up to Canada, that is going to bring jobs, $55 billion project. You're talking hundreds of thousands of jobs. You're talking tens of billions of dollars of additional GDP to the state of Texas. And, and it's a great bipartisan victory for the state of Texas. All of that sounded lovely, especially the part where it says that it brings jobs to Texans. But here's the problem. The White House let everybody know that Ted Cruz voted against it. And if you go down in the comments on the tweet the White House put out there and the tweet that Ted Cruz put out there, you'll see all of the proof that Ted Cruz voted against it. <laughs> Yep, taking the credit, but yet, when you look up the bill and somebody did that, there's the title of the bill circled and they pointed to where Ted Cruz and Cornyn both voted no on the bill. And what's infuriating is that people will go based off of what he said off of what he presented in that video as if he was for it and for them. They won't go down in the comments and look at the proof of how he truly felt about the bill and them. He voted no. All that he's saying that the bill is going to provide, he voted against that. Disgusting.